All right, Halos, how's everyone doing today? Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. I've been wanting to do some tier list uh, content for a little while, and hopefully this lands well. Hope you guys, hopefully you, you guys will like it. But as you could probably see in the title, um, this is going to be a Zin Zhao items tier list. Um, I'm mostly aiming this at mid lane. Um, because that is what I've been playing in most in recently. Um, but in general, this is not that uh, not that different depending on what lane you go into. But um, I am a Xin Zhao main. Uh, he is my pretty much my one trick um, ever since I started League um, probably around 10, 11 years ago or so. So yeah, I think I know a thing or two about him. Um, I'm well on my way to a million mastery points on him, but I don't have it quite yet, unfortunately. But yeah, we're there. Either way, um, this is going to be a tier list about his items, uh, the best items for him, basically. So um, I forget exactly what this item is called, um, but it basically it uh, is kind of like Ginsu's, but instead of the ramping uh, attack speed, it gives you alternating effects on your... Um, on hit basically so it's going to give you uh, armor and magic penetration as one and the other one is I think just magic on hit damage I believe that's correct something like that uh, I could be completely wrong about that second part but yes um, it is a pretty good item I haven't tried it too much on him to be honest so I'm not too sure but um, I think it's pretty decent but I wouldn't say it's like one of the best I would probably put it um, somewhere between A and B I do think it's a pretty good item on him but um, it's kind of situational, so I wouldn't say it's the best, but I'll put it probably in B tier for now. Um, this is a support upgrade item. Not going to worry about support items this game, this episode, but if you guys want to see stuff about, about every single lane that I would consider his best items in, definitely leave a comment below and I'll see if I can get around to doing that. Um, we got, I believe this is, um, oh, what's it called? Something Hydra. It's basically the Lethality Hydra item. Um, I am not a big fan of this item at all. Um, I have not tried it too much, to be honest, but um, honestly, in my opinion, the other two Hydra items are significantly better um, for him because he gets, uh, one gets healing and the other one gives a lot of HP, um, and both of them give the wave clear, which he definitely needs um, more or less. So uh, I'm honestly going to put this probably in either C or D tier. Um, I think it's probably usable, but I would probably almost never use it. Um, I'll, I think I'll put it in D tier for now. I, it could be C tier, but um, we'll see how the rest of the stuff shakes out and see if I move it later. But for now, I'm going to put it there. I think, believe this is Crypt Bloom. Um, Bloom. I think this is probably not a terrible item on him overall, but overall, I would not say it's super great. And it's an AP item, which usually he does not prefer. He does actually have really good scaling on AP, especially on his W. Um, obviously, his E scales on AP, and uh, his passive scales quite a bit on AP as well. Um, but in the end, um, even though it does those all scale with AP, the only magic damage um, that he actually does is through his E. Um, and so if magic penetration isn't super useful. I forget if this one actually gives you magic penetration. I think it does. Pretty sure this does. So um, it's probably going to go somewhere between C and D tier. I'm going to put it in D tier for now. Um, it's not like completely never buy, but I would just avoid it if you can. Um, next up, we got, I believe, Storm Surge is next. I have not really messed with this item on him right now, um, but I don't think it's going to be super useful. It definitely has a place, though. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to scroll down there. It definitely has a place. I think I'd actually probably put it somewhere in more of a C tier than a D tier. Um, just because he, if he goes full AP and he wants to one-shot someone with the E and W, I think it's, it's possible it could be useful, but most of the time it's not. Um, it's going to go either one between one of these, honestly, and I think I'm going to go with D tier actually for now. Um, it's viable, but it's not super great. Um, I haven't tried a ton of Div Div uh, Divine, what is this called? Is it Divine? It's not Divine Thunder. Uh, no, Sundered Sky, yes, Sunder Sky. So, um, this item is actually super good on him, um, but it is very situational, especially if, I would say it's mostly good if you're going bruisery, and generally speaking, you're not going super bruisery in mid lane since now, depending on what you want to build and your play style, but in my play style, um, I wouldn't buy it quite as often, but I would buy it either as much as um, this item, or I would buy it as much 
or buy it even more. I think I'm going to put, actually put it in A tier because it is quite a strong item. Um, I think it might be getting nerfed a little bit, but we shall see. Um, so far, right, right now, by the way, if you had, didn't know, I am talking about basically 14.3 items. Um, that's pretty much the patch that I'm working on right now. And uh, I think 14.4 is actually good, coming out pretty soon here. But uh, for now, 14.3 is what I'm working on. So uh, that's what we're talking about. I think this is called Voltaic Cyclosword or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I do not think this item is very strong. Um, I honestly don't remember the stats too much. But uh, basically, I never buy this on, on Zen. Um, it's probably more useful than these three items. But uh, actually, you know what? Let's just check real fast. Uh, Voltaic Cyclo Sword. Where is this guy? V. It's going to be at the end, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, so this item. Uh, moving in basic attacks, generate energized stacks. They're more. They charge faster from dashes and blinks. Whoops. Uh, yeah, so it slows the target and it deals a little bit of extra damage. But basically. This item is pretty hot garbage. Um, it's a little bit better than Storm Razor, I would say, and Storm Razor is really bad. So it's useful, but pretty much never gonna buy this, um, in my opinion. I believe this is Dawn Core. This is a basically support item. It's it has to do with shield to power, healing and shield power. Um, he does have healing in his kit, but I do not think it's very good with him because, um, actually, I would I'm just gonna put this in Don't Buy tier um, because. It, the healing and shield power scales off of your base man, mana regen, and he does not buy mana regen um, pretty much ever. You're kind of trolling if you do. So, yeah, it's going to be a don't buy tier. Um, this is also going to be a don't buy tier. The malignance is very terrible. He pretty much never uses ult. It's a very long cooldown. This is just not a not a good item at all. It's also AP, of course. Um, I believe this is opportunity, um, I think, right? Is that what it's called? Let me remember real fast. Sorry, one second. Uh, yeah, it is opportunity. After being out of combat, you gain lethality, and it remains for a few seconds. So it's kind of like the lethal, uh, sorry, the Yumu's Ghost Blade passive um, from the uh, Mythic passive, basically. Um, when it was a Mythic, uh, it says scoring a takedown against an enemy champion within three seconds grants you bonus move speed. Um, this item. It can be useful. Um, I would probably say it's a little more useful than Cyclosword, but you're pretty much not going to be buying these items. Um, I don't think it's very good, but it can be useful in situations. But most of the time, I would say avoid this item, honestly. Uh, we'll put it in C tier for now because it is better than pretty much all of these items. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, Experimental Hexplate. I think Once again, it's your ultimate's a very long cooldown. I don't think this item's very good, but... You might argue that it's okay. I would probably put it a little bit above some of these other items here. Um, I'll put it in D tier, but I think it's probably pretty bad overall. But it can be useful, um, for sure, in certain situations. But we're talking about mid lane once again. I believe this is also a uh, support item upgrade, although I don't remember all the icons, to be honest, so we're not sure. Um, Luton's Companion. Now, this item can be useful if you're trying to just poke and you're trying to build AP. But most of the time, you're pretty much never going to buy this. Um, I will actually put it a little bit higher because it is more useful than all these items down here, uh, at least in my opinion. But most of the time, you're pretty much never going to buy uh, Luden's Companion, unfortunately. It is a very strong item, though. Uh, this is another support item, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, Hubris, I only use in bots when I'm just trying to stack AD for free. Um, you're pretty much never going to use this item. It's a pretty bad item overall. Um, I guess I'll put it in D tier above Experimental Hexplate because it's at least a little bit better than Experimental Hexplate um, for Zen, but overall it's pretty bad. Uh, this item is a support item, this is a support item, and I believe this item is also a support item. Uh, this one's definitely a support item, so we're just going to ignore all of these right here. Um, I'm pretty sure all those are support items, I might be wrong about that. Uh, Let's see, Locket of the Iron Solari, I believe is what this one's called, and uh, you're never going to buy this in in uh, in mid lane. This is a terrible item, um, mid lane at least. And 
uh, Bissell Mask, I believe. Once again, never going to buy this terrible item for Zin Um Honestly, I don't remember what this one's called, but uh, I know what it does. It, this is not a good item for Zen Mid. Uh, this is a support item, not good for Zen Mid. You know what? I'll, I'll just put these support items in here as well because we're not ever going to use them. All right, and then next up we have Axiom Arc. Um, this is really not a very good item, but it can be somewhat useful if you're getting a lot of takedowns. Uh, most of the time, it's pretty much you're never going to buy this. Um, I would still put it a little bit above uh, this item. Um, but yeah, overall, it's pretty bad, I would say. Uh, yeah, next up we got Vanshee's Veil. Um, it's useful if you're going AP and you need the spell shield, um, but honestly, you're pretty much never going to buy this. Uh, I will put it... I mean, it is pretty useful. I'd actually say it's more useful than most of the other stuff here, so... Uh, yeah, I guess it's it's okay. Um, but most of the time you're never going to be completing this item because you have most of what the item gives you um, by the... Uh, component that builds into Bash of Banshee's Veil, because it already gives you that passive of the spell shield, so you're pretty much not ever going to buy this either. Um, Black Cleaver is quite good. Um, I think they're actually nerfing it at uh, 14.4, but as of right now, um, in 13 or in 14.3, it actually is quite a good item. Um, I am going to put it in B tier. I actually don't buy it very often, but it's definitely useful in certain situations. Um... Maybe I should put it in C tier for that at the very top, but I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say B tier for now, uh, probably near the bottom. Um, it is quite useful. Uh, it's not a bad item for him at all, but it's better for him like top and jungle than it would be for him uh, mid. Um, so uh, Blade of the Rune King is actually a very strong item. Um, my only problem is that uh, I haven't gone on hit builds quite enough. I do think it's quite strong. But I think there's some builds that are a little bit better at, at current. Um, but I think on hit is super strong overall in the game as well, especially on Zen. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to put Blade of the Ruin King probably in S tier, probably near the bottom of S tier. But um, it is it is very good, and you will be buying the, uh, using this item a lot. Um, I think one of the only few things that kind of feels bad about it is that um, when you press your E on Zenzao, you obviously slow an enemy, and the passive on the first auto versus an enemy, enemy champion um, of Blade of the Rune King will also slow enemies. So I don't think the slows stack super well or anything. Um, you would have to like kind of figure that out, out a bit. Maybe you E and then you W and then you auto. That would be, be quite a bit of slowing, but still you're stacking slows on top of slows, so it's probably diminishing returns to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm fairly certain um it is a quite a good item though um super good for on hit super good just in general and one of the very few items in the game that gives you life steal as well another item that does give you life steal <laughs> uh is bloodthirster now this item is only good if you need a ton of healing um overall i would say it's a pretty bad item though i'm gonna put it at top of c tier though because I do think it's a little worse than these items um, overall, but it can be useful in situations, I would say. Uh, Kimpunk Chain Sword, you're pretty much never gonna buy this, um, but I'll put it, I'll put it in D tier, probably near the top-ish, because the stats aren't the worst thing ever, although it is a pretty bad item. But heal cut can be useful. Um, Generally speaking, though, I would much rather go Re Mortal Reminder than Kimpunk Chain Sword. But depending on what you need, um, maybe you're going like Lord Doms, so you can't get Mortal Reminder. Um, then you might want to get Kimpunk Chain Sword for the heal cut. But most of the time, you're you're really not going to want to buy this item. Um, so we'll put it in D tier for now. Cosmic uh, Insights, that was called. No, Cosmic Drive. That's right. Uh, Cosmic Drive. I have not really tested with this item very much, but I think it could be useful because it has that. Uh, three hit um, speed up. I'm not really sure. I think you're probably never going to buy this item. Um, probably probably somewhere right around here. Um, let me just make sure they didn't change that real fast though. Cosmic Drive is going to be a C right here. Yeah. Cosmic Drive. 
grants you movement speed for two seconds. Okay, so it doesn't even give you... Um, they did change it a little bit, so it's just dealing ability damage. You don't have to hit them three times. But, um, yeah, it gives you bonus movement speed for two seconds um, after dam damaging an enemy champion with an ability, ability damage. Has some pretty decent stats. It does give you ability haste, which is um, not very often in the game uh, anymore because they changed all of the items. But pretty bad overall, I'd say, for Zen Zhao mid. Um, yeah. And then... Next up, we've got Deadman's Plate. Uh, you're pretty much never going to buy this item. Um, I really think, it, honestly, you just, just don't buy it at all. I think it's pretty bad. Um, Death Dance is a situational item. Um, it could be... It could be good in situations, but mostly it's like a bruisery item, in which case uh, you don't really want it. I think I'll put it at the top of C tier, because I do think it's significantly worse than these, but I do think it's also a much better than these overall. Um, so I'll put it at the top of C tier for now. Uh, Echoes of Helios is a support item. We're just not ever buying those. Sorry. Um, let's see. Eclipse is up next. So Eclipse doesn't give you lethality more, anymore, um, and the uh, description of Eclipse is a very confusing. I don't know if it's any better in uh, League of Legends fandom site. Okay, it is a little bit better. Um, in game, it tells you it gives you tw it deals 20% bonus physical damage, like 20% max health bonus physical damage, which is very confusing wording, and I think that's just a typo. But um, in here, it says for a melee, it gives you 8% of the target's maximum health um, if you hit them by two separate attacks or abilities within two seconds. So. Uh, it also gives you the shield, of course, which is really big. This is a very strong item, actually, for Zen. Um, I've been trying it quite a few times here and there, um, and I think it is very strong. Uh, I'm not sure what order you build it in exactly um, in your build, to be honest, but I think it is extremely strong. Um, I'm not sure if it's better or worse than Blade of the Rune King. Uh, I think it's worse a little bit, but... Overall, this is a very strong item. If not an S tier, I would put it at the top of A tier, probably. Um, very, very strong item. I think... I think I'll put it in the top of A tier, but we might change it later. Um, Edge of Night, very specific. It's if you need that um, spell shield as, as you're going in on a target. Um, say, like, Morgana or Lux. Um, this can help you immensely, as long as they can't pop it early um, before you go in. Um, so, it is a very specific uh, item, but I would actually say it's better than all of the other items. Um, lethality is super useful to him, it gives you some health, and the spell shield is super, super useful. Um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's just really good, generally speaking, um, but very situational for sure, depending on what you've got in the game. Uh, Essence Reaver is <clears throat> a pretty good item overall on Zen, but the problem I have with it is it just doesn't do as much damage as you want. Um, I do think it's pretty good, but you're, it's pretty, very situational, and I don't think most of the time you're probably not going to be buying it. It's either at the top of C tier or probably at the bottom of B. I think I'm just going to put it at the bottom of B for now um, because it is useful, and getting the mana back is very helpful. But overall, I think it's a it's a pretty rough item. Uh, I think this is Fimble Winter. Um, this item is actually pretty good. I do not buy it on Zen though. Um, but I think situationally, it can be super very useful. Um, I'd be willing to put it at the bottom of B tier, or maybe even in C tier. Um, I don't really buy this item very often, so I'm going to put it at the top of C tier for now, but I think it can be super useful um, to have that extra shielding, and the mana, honestly. Um, if you can spam out your abilities, it's, it's quite useful. I think it also gives you ability haste, which is obviously a little bit rare in items these days. Uh, Force of Nature, it's only going to be built if you're going tank. Um, I really don't build tank when I go mid Zin Zhao, but you can if you want, I suppose. I just think it's a very terrible idea. Um, Force of Nature is really just the best, um, well, at least one of the best magic resist items. Um, so if you're going against a lot of mages. Uh, I do think it's useful, 
but um, I'm not sure how useful. I'll put it above these three, but um, I don't think you're going to be buying it very often, if at all. Um, Frozen Heart is a very strong item. It did just get a little bit nerfed in terms of the gold cost, I think. Um, so, But it is a pretty strong item. I think it's useful in some situations, but most of the time, once again, it's a... Um, it's an armor item, so it's like a tank item, which you aren't really going to be building tank. But it's it's a very strong item, gives you mana, which you do actually relatively need um, as in, So it's not too bad, but not the best either. Um, Guardian's Angel, super situational, but most of the time you're pretty much never going to buy this. I'll put it above some of these items, just because I think it's more useful than them. But for the most part, you're pretty much never going to buy this item. We'll put it in C tier for now. Um, and then Ginsu's Rage Blade is a super good item. Uh, definitely S tier, I would say. Um, I'm actually u buying this more than Blade of the Rune King right now, um, surprisingly enough. Uh, usually most people think Blade of the Rune King as a core Jin Shao item, but uh, I'm not really sure. I, I do think it's very strong, but there's only so many w item slots you have right now, so situational but I do think uh, the since they changed Gensu's back to the old f form it is very very good um, but it's not the best item in the game for him for sure but I, I think you're pretty much always going to be buying these items in the S tier um, most of the time so this is why I kind of want to put Eclipse up there um, you know what I will put Eclipse up there I'll put it below Blade for now but I do think it can be better than Blade uh, in a lot of situations actually um, I think Divine Sunder can also be an S, but we're just going to keep it in A for now. I think it's it's a really good item. Heart Steel. Um, this is a very situational item. It's only if you can proc it a lot. So if mostly when you're going into another melee, um, and some that won't like be just one proc a fight, usually. Um, that's when you want to buy it. It is a very strong item, though, um, and I do I do quite like it when you can build it. I just don't build it very often, unfortunately. I think it's probably it's probably a little worse than Black Cleaver overall, but very strong. Uh, let me just go over this uh, item real fast because I can't remember exactly what the second part of it was. Terminus, that's right. Okay, yeah. Um, Grants bonus armor and magic resist. Okay, that's right. So grants bonus armor and magic resist, and then alternates to armor and magic penetration. Um, and it also gives you a lot of other stuff. It gives you on-hit damage, of course, as well. Um, and obviously attack speed and pretty decent amount of attack damage. So it is quite a good item. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, that's Terminus. So next up, we got Rocket Belt. Um, you're pretty much never going to be using this item. The only reason you would is the dash, and the dash is very tiny. Um, I would honestly argue that it's worse than pretty much all of these. So I think you would probably never ever buy this. You know what? I'm actually just going to put it in. Don't buy. Yeah, just don't buy it. It's a bad item. Uh, next up, we got Horizon Focus. Uh, Horizon Focus, I have not really tested with, but um, I think it's pretty much a never buy item overall because it's a, it's a, it's a long range mage item pretty much. So I'm just going to say don't buy. I don't have any order for these This these don't buys. Just don't buy them at all. Um, but all of these are going to be left to right. Left being the best. Right being the worst in that tier. Um, and then Hole Breaker. I haven't had enough time to experiment, experiment with this one too much. But I do think it is quite a strong item. Uh, I think it's better actually than it was previously. At least for Zhen Zhao. Um, I'm not exactly sure how good it is is my only problem because I haven't been able to test enough. I, I think it's probably somewhat right around here. Um, it is quite a strong item. It might be better, but um, I don't think it's very much worse than that. Uh, Iceborne Gauntlet I think is probably pretty trash on Zen. Once again, if you're building tanks, it's probably not too bad, but um, I'd probably put it somewhere around there maybe. Uh, it might be worse, honestly. Um, Immortal Shield Bow, I think situationally it's not too bad. It's actually probably the best lifesteal item because it gives you the most. Um, and it does give you that shield as well, which is not too bad overall. Um, it's definitely better than Bloodthirster because it gives you the shield. Um, but it doesn't give you as much lifesteal, of course, but I still think it's better. I'd probably argue situationally... Situationally. Situationally, it's probably about C tier. 
but most of the time you're not really going to be buying this item. Um, I want to say maybe it's a little better than these items because it gives you better stats and and uh, yeah, but I don't know. Depends. Imperial Mandate is a support item. We're not buying these. Uh, Infinity Edge, situationally very good. Um, there is a build where you can go all full crit and you get like 100% crit or just 80% crit or whatever you want. Um, but I do think Infinity Edge is actually quite strong. Um, but it just depends if you're going the full crit item, uh, crit build rather. And it is very strong, but you are a little bit squishy, of course, because you're basically ADC build. But yeah, it's it's a very strong item, honestly. Uh, Jack Show, I have not built this on Zen, I don't think at all. Uh, this is the new Jack Show, of course, as well. Um, I think it probably is useful, but it's definitely situational. Uh, I would probably say D tier. Uh, I don't think you're really going to be buying this item at all. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, and then Knight's Vow is a support item. We're not going to be using that. Uh, Kraken Slayer, the best, in my opinion, um, Zizou item in the game. And probably just the best in item in the game, period. But, um, yeah, super useful, super nice. It works really well with him, and it gives him pretty much all the damage you need. Most matchups that you might lose, if you have Kraken Slayer, you'll win. Um, the only difference being is if they have Kraken Slayer also, sometimes you might may lose. But it depends if you play it right or if you have allies that can help you out. Um, it just depends. Um, next up, we got Leandry's Torments. Uh, I don't, I have not used this on Zen, especially not the new one. Um, I don't think it's very good for him, but situationally maybe. Uh, I'll probably put it in D tier, probably right around here. Um, I do think it's a good item oh, in the game, but for Zen Zhao mid, I don't think it's very good. Lichbane, I can see, I can see angles where it could be useful. But most of the time, you're probably not ever going to be using this item. I'll put it maybe there for now. Maybe it's a little better than Kim Punk Chang Sword, but yeah. Uh, Locket of the Iron Solari version 2. Oh, this must be the actual Locket. This is probably what builds into Locket. Um, I don't really know for sure, but yeah. Uh, we're not buying that. We're never buying that. Uh, Lord Dominic's Regards, situationally very strong. Um, depends on if you're going against health stackers and tanks. But... Um, a lot of the time, this can be an S tier. It just depends on the situation most of the time. Um, but yeah, pretty much. Maw Ma Ma of Malmordius. I actually avoid this item like the plague <laughs> because I think there's just better items, um, to be honest. Um, maybe Hex Drinker is worth it, but for the most part, I think just don't buy this item. Um, it is useful. Like it's It's very viable on him. But I think you're probably never going to be buying this item. Um, it's somewhere right around Bloodthirster levels. Maybe worse, I think. Magi Soul Stealer, the only situation you buy this is if you get a Dark Seal and you stack it all, all the way up and you're just kind of dominating. Um, it can be useful, but most of the time you're not going to be buying this in most games. Uh, but I will say it's actually a good item on him if you can stack it um, quite a bit. Um... And then Mercurial Scimitar, which is your QSS item to get out of snares. Uh, this is situationally really good, but most of the time you're just going to be sitting on QSS for most of the game and before you finish it as your final item if you do so choose. Um, you do need to get QSS at certain some matchups or versus certain champions, but uh, like I said, you're probably going to be mass getting this very late in the game, so I would, wouldn't really worry about it too much. Um, I would say it's somewhere around here, level. Uh, but I'll just put it last because usually you're gonna be finishing it very late into the game, so I don't think it's worth it. Um, I'm not gonna be buying Zeke's Herald, I think is what it's called. No, that's not right. I can't remember the name of this for a, for a second, but yeah, we're not gonna be buying that. It's a cleanse item, but it's a support item. Same thing for this, support item. I do think um, there's situations where this could actually be somewhat useful, but for the most part, just don't buy
Oh, sorry about that. I uh, had a little bit of a glitch in the system there. Um, yeah, anyways, moving on. We have Marilla Namicon. Just don't buy this item. It's terrible. It's not good. It's not a good item for him. Um, Mortal Reminder. So, uh, this is... It's situationally good. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to be buying it, but there are situations where it can be useful. Um, I'll probably put it right around here. So don't forget, this item not only does heal cut, it gives you crit, and it also gives you, uh, among other things, of course, it gives you crit, it also gives you heal cut, and it gives you uh, armor penetration. So it's pretty decent. Um, percentage charge from armor pen as well. But uh, situational, for sure. I'll probably put it right around there. I think Heart Steel is probably a little better overall as an item, but it depends situationally. It can be useful. Um, I think this is the upgraded Mana Moon. Eh? Um, I don't buy this item, um, but I think it can be useful, especially in an on-hit build. Um, I think it could be relatively useful. I'm not sure the exact, like if it's exactly the same as before, but I think it's pretty much the same. Um, I do think it's useful, but most of the time you're not going to be buying it. Um, I'll put it here for now, but it could move down or up depending on the situations. Nasher's Tooth, same thing, kind of. Um, it's a on-hit item for the most part. Uh, it's, it's good, but very situational and only if you're going quite a bit of AP, or if you're going just full on-hit, I think it's definitely worth a pickup. Um, but yeah, I guess it depends for sure. Uh, I do think it's actually better than all of these items, though. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it up here. I think it's better than all of these items as well, depending on the situation for sure. Uh, Navori Quick Blades. This is a S-tier item. Um, this item is extremely good on Xin Zhao. Uh, Xin Zhao very much worried about his cooldowns. When you buy this item, and you also have Kraken Slayer first, um, these two as a combo are insane. Uh, super, super strong. It's pretty much what I build every game, but it depends the situation for sure. Um, but yeah, if you can get the second item, it's pretty good. Uh, I do not think it's really a first item buy, but you might be able to argue that in certain situations. But yeah, super good item. No very quick load, quick blades. Uh, Phantom Dancer, another super good item. It's basically Ginsu's, just without the on hit. Uh, it gives you ghosting, so you can walk through uh, minions and champions. And uh, it actually gives you, I think, more attack speed than Ginsu's. Um, I actually buy this more than both of these items. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Um, Phantom Dancer is very, very nice, very strong. It's a little niche. It depends on the situation, but it is a, is definitely an S tier item on Zen Zhao, uh, for sure. Um, next up, we got Rabidon's Death Cap. Once again, Death Cap. Sorry. Uh, once again, it's just if you're going to be building full AP. Um, very rarely will you actually ever do that, but I think it's probably a good item if you do build a little full AP. But usually you're not doing that. Um, Random Omen is a very good item. Um, I think situationally it's actually not bad on Zen, but I do not buy this item on Zen, to be honest with you. Um, I do think it's very strong, though. I think it's probably right around here, maybe. It's a it's a good item, but it's definitely situational. Rapid Fire Cannon, just don't buy this, honestly. It's, it's not good on Zen. Um, yeah. The only reason you'd buy it is for the crit, I think. This is pretty much a never buy item. But I'm going to put it above all these because these are pretty much never buy items as well. Um, yeah, anyways. Ravenous Hydra. Uh, I haven't trusted too much of it on the new patch, but I do think it's still really good on him. Um, obviously, it doesn't proc on abilities anymore, so it's just auto attacks. But um, it is still good on him. I would say... I would say A tier. I think it's... It's pretty much, yeah, I think it's very useful. Uh, Redemption, you're not going to ever buy. It's a support item, once again. And then Riftmaker is kind of the same thing as Leandries, pretty much. Um, you pretty much only buy these together anyways. Uh, I think it's useful, but for the most part, you're not going to be using it. You know what? I might put it a little bit higher, actually. I guess I'd put it maybe around here. Uh, it could be used a little bit better than Leandries, depending on the situation. 
Um, and then Rod of Ages, you're pretty much never buying this item. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just not a good item for him. But it's probably a little better than this, so I'll put it there. Next up, we got uh, Rune Ends. You, I don't think you can actually buy this at all, because you're not a ranged champion. I'm fairly certain you can't buy that. Um, Rally's Crystal, Crystal Scepter, yeah, you're just not going to buy this ever. Just, just actually, just don't buy it. Try to think. You know what? I'll put it at the very bottom of D. I won't say but don't don't buy, but just don't buy it. Um, next up, we have uh, the upgraded Archangel Staff. Um, the item is useful, but not very often, and it's only useful if you're build building full AP. Um, probably, probably right around there. Serpent's Fang, only good if you're going against uh, shield users and you need to cut them down a lot. Um, and you're going with Fality. That's the only situations that you would do this. <laughs> Very specific. Um, usually you're not really buying this item, to be honest, but it could be useful in some situations. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there. Uh, I'm going to actually put it somewhere right around here. I think situationally there. I think it's pretty decent, but it depends what you're going against. But most of the time, you're not buying that. Almost, almost never, honestly. Um, only if they have a ton of shields, and even then, it really doesn't do that much. <laughs> uh, Cerildus Grudge. Uh, I'm pretty sure this only activates when you deal da ability damage while they're below half health, um, which is a huge nerf to the item. And I think this item is pretty much never buy. Uh, it does give you. I think it still gives you armor pin. Uh, percentage item or pin, but I think it's a bad item overall. I guess it's better than some of these items, but yeah. Just don't build this item, I think. Maybe there, just because it, it is viable on him, but yeah, just don't build, build that item, honestly. Uh, Shadow Flame. Let me remember what this does exactly, because they did change a couple of these. Shadow Flame would be S. Where is it? Sha Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. Sha. Alright, uh, Shadow Flame. Critically strike against enemies only on magic damage and true damage. Yeah, so he doesn't... He, most of his damage is physical, except his E. Um, so, yeah, this is, a, this is not a good item for him at all. Just don't ever, don't ever build this, honestly. Maybe maybe that, but yeah, just don't ever build it. Uh, this is the speed up support item. We're not going to be ever buying that. Spear of Shojin. Um, it is actually useful if you combine it. Well, it is useful as an item, but it's better if you combine it with Navori Quick Blades. Um, you just have very low cooldowns. Uh, but it's definitely a situational item. I think it's probably at the bottom of A tier, uh, maybe at the top of B tier. Um, it's not the best item for him, but it is pretty strong overall. Um, I'll go A tier for now. I think it is a good item overall. Uh, Spirit of Visage. Very situational, but, um, it actually is a pretty decent item on Zhu Zhao. Um, very situational though. I would say probably right around here. Uh, we'll put it in B tier for now, I guess. Uh, next up, we have Staff of Flowing Water, support item we never use. Um... Static Shiv, I don't buy this item, and as long as you're buying like Ravenous, uh, any of the Hydras, uh, basically, you j really don't need Static Shiv at all. Um, it's pretty much don't buy item, but it is a little better than some items, so I'll put it maybe, maybe like here. Uh, it's probably better than that actually, maybe like there. I just don't buy this item honestly. Uh, Sterics Gauge, I haven't really tested a lot. I think it's pretty bad, though, on him. Um, we'll have to see for sure, I guess, but I think there's just better items to buy is my main complaint about it. So um, I think it's pretty decent, though, overall. We'll probably put it somewhere right around there, kind of like defensive items right here. Um, <clears throat> Storm Razor, terrible item. Never buy this. Um, yes, it's viable, but it's just a waste of your inventory space, quite literally. 
Um, I'll put it over there just because it's better than these items, technically. And it gives you crit. Um, but just don't buy that item, ever. Um, store, wait, you no, know, what's it called? Stride Breaker. Um, I think it's useful. I actually have not played very much with it. I think it's useful. But I don't, like I said, I haven't play test, I haven't tested it enough. But I think it's useful. It might be better than this, but I think it's probably not much lower than this. I think it's useful. Um, this might be a little higher than this, actually. This might be higher, but we'll we'll leave it there for now. Sunfire um, Aegis, I think it's called what it's called. Um, it's only if you're going tank mostly, and for wave clear, which is it's just a better ide idea to buy a Hydra item than Sunfire. So I would say uh, it's viable, but you're pretty much never going to be buying this. Let's put it down here. Uh, collector, this is actually a very good item on Zen. It gives you crit as well, and lethality. Super good items, ID, uh, things for Zen, and it also gives you that uh, execute. So, um, actually, I would put that at the bottom of A tier. It is a very good item. Uh, Thorn Mail, once again, a tank item. You're pretty much never going to be buying in mid lane as Zen Shao. And I'm gonna say, since it gives heal cuts, I'll say maybe this. We'll put it in. What's C tier for now? Um, Titanic Hydra, very good item on Jin Zhao. Um, it's it's hard to say which one's better, Titanic Hydra or Ravenous Hydra, but I think just because it gives you the auto reset, um, that Titanic is a little better. Situationally though, I think Ravenous is a little bit better of an item overall. But since it gives you that auto reset, and he needs the auto reset um, to get his Q off a little bit quicker, uh, I think it's I think it's probably an S tier. You know what? Now let's let's put it let's put it top of the A tier. I think it is a good item, and he really does like wave clear. So let's let's put it there for now. I think it's I think it's a very good item for sure. Um, and then we have Trinity Force, which is actually a pretty decent item. It's definitely the best Sheen item, um, hands down. But um, I'm not really sure where this goes. Like situationally, I think it could probably go down here. Uh, right around here somewhere, but I think it also could go could go in A tier near the bottom. Um, I am probably gonna say it's a little better than Heart Steel, a little bit worse than Black Cleaver probably. Um, next up we have Umbral Glaive, which is pretty much just a support items for clearing uh, wards out quickly and gives you lethality. Um, it actually doesn't have bad stats overall, but you're pretty much never gonna be buying this. I think I will put this in. Hmm. You know where will I put this? I think I'll put it situationally uh, right above Bloodthirster because it has these uses, but it's definitely very niche, and you're not going to be doing it very often. This is a support item. Um, it's actually a nice item overall, but it's a support item and I'm playing mid right now. Uh, and this is a mid lane tier list, so we're not going to be using that. Um, once again, it's this, uh, Void Staff is a magic pin item, which we pretty much never use. Um, magic pin. So we're going to put that at the bottom there. War Mogs, useful in situations, but you're probably never going to be buying this item. Um... Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I would say it's probably right, right around there, maybe. It's a it's a fun item, but yeah, you're pretty much never buying that because you also have to buy at least one to two more other health items for it to actually be used, uh, the passive actually be used. So, yeah. Uh, Wits End, it is a good item, but them taking off the AD off of the, from the item completely is actually pretty rough. It does give you a lot of attack speed. Um, it's situational against mages, basically. Is the only time you're going to be buying this. Um, it's a nice item, but overall, the AD being removed from it hurts it a lot. So um, it it would be either S or A, but it's now going to be probably somewhere around somewhere around B tier, and it's situational for sure. <clears throat> Next up, we got Yumu's Ghost Blade. Um, I think this item's actually pretty good, but I have not used it very much on him. Um, but it has all the stats he, he wants and needs, um, so that you can't really, 
can't really say it's a bad item on Zen. I'm going to put it right around B tier, uh, near the top at V tier, but it just depends, honestly, what you're looking for. Um, this is Zeke's Convergence. You're never going to be buying this item at all. Support item. Zanya's Hourglass. Pretty much never going to buy this item, but I guess situationally you could. Um, I'll put it above Opportunity. Well, no, I'll put it above... I'll put it right there. It gets use useful. Right next to the other other uh, kind of Zanya's E item. Uh, it's useful, but never. Pretty much never going to buy it. Um, these are all... Um, these are all just items that build like into other items, basically. Um, so I'm not going to worry about those. Um, the only other thing I would say is uh, Sheen is a pretty good item overall. Um, but it costs a lot of money. It costs 300 more gold right now, and it only gives you 10, 10 ability haste for that. So it's not that great. Um... We're not playing jungle, so these don't matter right now. And then uh, Doran's shield, I think you're pretty much never going to buy. Um, very situationally, if there's no chance, you can actually 1v1 the enemy, um, which is very rare. Um, and then I believe this is coal. Uh, I would pretty much never buy this item, honestly. Um, and my reasoning behind it is because you the only situation you would buy it is if it's your first item otherwise you're just wasting money for it um and i could go into the math of that if you guys want me to but it's a bad item um pretty much in every situation and you, other things are just better uh tier you're pretty much never going to be starting with doran's ring it's viable but overall i would say don't use this um almost ever. Doran's Blade is always going to be what you're starting, pretty much 100% of the time. Um, Dark Seal, almost never, but you can buy it if you are getting ahead, like I said, and start stacking it up. Um, then it's, it's somewhat worth it, but most of the time you're not going to be buying this. Um, on the Doran's Blade note, though, uh, Longsword is actually a very viable start. Um, it's if you want to get to your first item quicker and you don't think you need the extra little bit of HP. Another nice thing though is, another nice thing, sorry, um, is that you now have the runes where you can just get free HP. So um, the HP from Doran's Blade is like not as useful. So yeah. Um, also, if you want that lifesteal, uh, then Doran's Blade is very useful. But most of the time... It's, it's very situational, it, which one you're going to do, but this and Doran's Blade are, or this and uh, Longsword are the only things that you're going to be wanting to buy. Sorry, did I say Doran's Blade the whole time? This and Longsword, sorry. Alright, and then Berserker Grease are going to be your go-to, unless you have another situation that's happening. Like, their entire team is uh, magic damage, or they have, like, important CC that hurts you, like Teemo Q, or Morgana Q, stuff like that, um, or, like, multiple types of them, like a Lux and a Morgana, stuff like that, um, then you want the tenacity a little bit, then this Mercury Treads is going to be your go-to. If they're, like, full AD, or, like, four champions are AD, or even if three are champions are AD, and they're very, um, auto-based users, especially if they're auto-based users, definitely go play to Steel Caps. Um, never go Sork Boots, pretty much ever, because, once again, most of your abilities do physical damage and uh, the only one that doesn't is your E which is your least damaging ability in the game uh, basically um, I have not really tested with Swifties very much I think situationally it could be useful if you're trying to dodge a lot of stuff or trying to catch up to other people but most of the time Berserkers are just better and then you're pretty much never going to be buying mobility, mobility boots although situationally if you need to catch up to someone um, chase someone down it could be useful, could, could be useful. Um, and then Ionian boots are actually not too bad, but overall you're pretty much never buying them over like Berserker Greaves or um, Merc Treads or Plated Steel Caps. Um, so yeah, I would say that pretty much all. You know what? I'll go ahead and rank these real fast. Um, oh, there you go. You got the tier maker dot com logo. Um, Berserker Greaves in terms of just boots. Um, not relating to other items at all. In terms of just boots, Berserkers are the best. 
and then I would probably say uh, it's a tie between Mercury Treads and Steel Caps, depending on what team you're facing in the A tier. This is going to be really good. Um, probably this one's a little bit better overall because it does give you the tenacity, but um, situationally, for sure, it, it matters. And then next up, you'd probably have uh, Ionian Boots in, in B, the next level down, and then probably... Swifties in C, Moby's in D, and Sork in Dev Never Buy, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, but yeah, Dwin's Blade's what you're going to be starting most of the time when you don't start um, Longsword 3 pot. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the, the tier list. That's pretty much it for now. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description if you want to create your own tier list of Season 14 items. Uh, it took me a minute to actually find this type of tier list, so uh, yeah, definitely... Definitely check it out if you have time. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you in another video. All right, peace.